guys, it's Keith Brown and Tack Room Devotional. Welcome. And uh, today I'd kind of like to recap what we've been talking about the last few days. You know, we uh, kind of related the kingdom of God to the arenas that we can co compete in. And I, I hope that this kind of uh, makes it simple for us to understand. We said that uh, in order for us to enter an arena, whatever the discipline is that we're practicing and, and competing in, we need to know the, uh, the, the rules that govern that. We need to know how it's judged. We need to know the culture. We need to know the animals. We need to know all this stuff in order to be successful. But then we also found out that you couldn't just stand alongside of that arena and look in and say, oh yeah, I'm a cutter, without ever entering the arena. So it is with the kingdom of God. The Bible says the the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. In other words, we can't just stand and say, oh yeah, I know about God, and I know about heaven, and someday I hope to get there. No, today, right now, we need to enter in, engage, and begin to live the principles that govern the kingdom of God here on earth. Remember Jesus prayed, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's us entering and engaging and being violent about it, saying, no, my life is going to be lived according to the kingdom of God. And then we started talking about the fact that God places his kingdom within us. See, you don't have to go here or go there to try and figure out where it is, but the kingdom of heaven is in you. And then we found out that not only does God place his kingdom within us, but he also places his spirit within us who leads us and guides us into all truth. And we found out that the spirit of God, when he, um, when he takes residence within us, also endues us with power. Remember in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says, And the Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and you shall be endued with power. In John chapter 14, it tells us, that Jesus says, and, and when I go, I, uh, uh, I'll send another, uh, I'll pray the Father, and he'll send you another comforter, another helper, and he'll lead you and guide you into all truth. And remember, it went on to say that the world can't receive him, but we can because we know him and he lives within us. Hallelujah. So now we have the kingdom of God in us. We have the spirit of God in us. But the Spirit of God doesn't just come, but He comes with power. When is that power released? Remember the Bible says this in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. God is able. We know that, right? All things are possible with God. But this goes on to say God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. Watch this according to the power that works in us. So it's that power when we start having this relationship with the Holy Spirit, when we start living our lives according to the principles that govern the kingdom of God, power is released in us and through us. Oh, hallelujah. That's why we, we figured out, the Bible says, that He has made us more than conquerors. He has made us world overcomers. Right? And it says in 1 John chapter 5, and it says, And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Our faith in what? Our faith in God. Our faith in His kingdom principles. Our faith in the fact that we are saved. Our faith in the fact that we know that we're loved by God the Father. Whew, when we know all that, and we start live our, living our lives according to His kingdom, and His kingdom principles, and allow the Spirit of Christ to live in us and through us, that's when we see power in our lives. Now again, that's our recap of the whole week. And remember I told you also, we got to remember this, it would be like me giving you a really good horse, and, and let's say you've never ridden a cutting horse before, and you walk into that arena, you may know the, the government of the arena, you may have read the NCHA rule books and all that kind of stuff, but it's you also need, need to know how to call on that power. And we're going to pick that up next week. We need to learn how to call on the power of the Holy Spirit to live his life out through us, for Christ to be lived out through us. Amen? Okay, so I'm excited about next week. There's more of this teaching that's coming, so I hope you'll come and join me. Have a super awesome Sunday. Go to church. Fellowship together and expect some mighty things. Why? Because Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Amen. 
God bless you. We love you. Jesus loves you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.